At times, it's hard to answer the question of whether it's worth upgrading after one year. The case and point this time is between the Galaxy S21 and S22, whether it's worth upgrading or sticking to the previous model. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy new and exclusive videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV. Here is our quick fire comparison between the Galaxy S22 and S21. When comparing the design, feel, and build quality, the slight differences between them come together and add up to be a lot more than I expected. If you look at the S21, when Samsung actually decided to opt for a plastic, or as they like to call it, plastic back panel, it did come as a shock to us. This was really down to the expectation of using a premium glass material like found on the S21 Plus and S21 Ultra and the concern of it feeling more like a mid-range device. And in all honesty, the plastic material has held up really well. And in most cases, when using it as a standalone device without a case, it does at times feel very easy to forget that it is actually plastic being used. Now that being said, comparing it side by side with the newer S22, the difference feels huge in favor of how nice and premium the S22 feels. And also with how the S22 feels using Corning Gorilla Glass Victors Plus on the front and back with the high quality matte frosted finish, it gives you the confidence that you are really holding a premium device. The overall look of both devices are very much the same and more of an evolution of each other when looking at the Galaxy S22. Some might actually prefer the more rounded look of the previous S21 and in fact when actually holding the devices, the S21 is slightly more comfortable compared to the flatter, sharper feeling edges of the Galaxy S22. The slightly more denser feeling while still keeping a light weight on the Galaxy S22 aids to it feeling more premium and especially well put together. Overall, I have to say the Galaxy S22 takes it. On paper, both display and audio experience are basically the same. Both are using a flat, full high definition plus 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display panels. The Galaxy S21 is using a 6.2 inch display, whereas the S22 has a slightly smaller 6.1 inch display. LTPO variable refresh rate is present on both. And confusion aside, initially when the Galaxy S22 was released, we were under the impression that the refresh rate was between 10 Hz to 120 Hz, but later found out that it's within the same range as the S21, which is 48 to 120 Hz. Now the positions and the performance of the in-display scanners are really excellent and you also get great feedback when it comes to the haptics. Speaking of the haptics, as good as they are on both, they are tuned differently with the S22 being more subtle, which favors a nicer feeling when typing and interacting with the UI. But overall, the S21 is actually stronger which definitely fares better when working with incoming notifications. What makes me like the S22 overall is the design of the display. The S22 is Samsung's first real attempt of making a phone with completely thin, even, and symmetrical bezels all around with that small hole punch at the top for the selfie camera. This really does make it for the best visual experience found on a smartphone display to date for me personally. Both are using dual stereo speakers with support for Dolby Atmos, and also when it comes to the sound, in terms of how they are for volume and clarity, that's pretty much the same. But I would say when you're listening to it side by side, the S22 might potentially have slightly more bass and a fuller sound, but really the difference is not enough in my opinion. A quick word from our channel affiliate partner, NordVPN. As our preferred VPN of choice, NordVPN gives you a secure connection while keeping it a fast speed and also access to content in different regions on popular services like Netflix. Use our unique link for your NordVPN plan and our coupon code SAMMOBILE backed with a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. As I'm based in the UK, both models are powered by Exynos. The Galaxy S22 is using the newer Exynos 2200 based on a 4 nanometer process with 5G support, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of internal storage. The Galaxy S21 is powered by the previous Exynos 2100 based on a 5 nanometer process with 5G support, 8 gigs of RAM and also 256 gigabytes of storage. Now performance benchmarks like Geekbench only really show a difference of 7% between the two. So translating that into real world day-to-day -day performance, they both hold up well against each other with not much difference when actually using them. Now the real promise and excitement of the Exynos 2200 was the partnership with AMD Radeon Graphics with the new XClip 920 GPU. We were hoping it would actually translate to finally bringing better optimization and graphic support out of the gate, but this hasn't really been the case compared to the Snapdragon counterpart. All that aside, the performance is good on both and you should be okay whichever one you pick. 
We did an extensive camera comparison on both these devices and we highly recommend you take the time and watch it. The quick and short summary of the camera performance for pictures is that the Galaxy S22 generally has a bit more saturation in images and thanks to the new 10 megapixel 3X optical zoom, you do get clearer images when zooming in compared to the Galaxy S21. Portrait mode for the selfie and the rear cameras is generally improved on the S22, but the S21 still holds up really well. Overall performance in low light and when using night mode on the wide and the ultra wide is greatly improved when using the Galaxy S22. Now video performance is solid on both. The Galaxy S22 does have better video stabilization when in portrait mode, but it does come at the cost of an additional crop and you do get a slightly wider field of view when actually shooting in 8K 24 frames a second. This section here is definitely a quick one as the software experience is on par on both. One UI 4.1 with Android 12 is at the center of the user experience with core features as mentioned before, like RAM Plus, color palette, privacy control, new widgets, and accessibility. As well as the performance being good with the specs under the hood, Samsung's promise of four OS version updates should see the Galaxy S22 good until Android 16. But while the Galaxy S21 started on Android 11, it should be good until Android 15. When it comes to battery life, the Galaxy S21 takes a confident win here with its larger 4,000 milliamp hour battery compared to the reduced size of the Galaxy S22 at 3,700 milliamps. Now, the difference may not seem like that much on paper, but this really allows the Galaxy S21 to really power through to four to five hours of screen on time usage compared to the three, four hours experience on the Galaxy S22. Both have the same charging speeds over the wire at 25 watts and 15 watt wireless charging and wireless power share for charging other devices that are compatible. Given the choice between the Galaxy S22 and the S21, which one would you choose? Let us know in the comment section below. For the latest news in the world of Samsung Daily, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. And for the latest videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV, be sure to like, subscribe and turn on notifications and we will see you next time. Thank you.